from Creative Kit Kat. And looks like I have some mail. I got mail again. <laughs> Yeah, so actually this week I had a few mails that came in and so these are some of them Sorry, I had to open this one because I wasn't sure um, What this painting is all about so I had to open it and peek at it to see what it was about so apparently um, So yeah, of course, it's a diamond painting by the shape of it. You know, it's a diamond painting, but later Let's take a look what's inside um, that's the last one that we're going to open, but I wanted to take a look at this, guys. So, apparently, this is one of the, it does say it's a replacement diamond. Um, and it came from the U.S., so I know, guys, this is the one that I, the replacement diamond that I was supposed to get from, um, from Diamond Art Club. So... Give me a sec, because apparently it came with a packing slip, and I had to make sure that um everything is there. There you go. Okay, so they shipped this out last May, May 3rd. So I wasn't sure, because I, I, um, I actually had a few diamonds. Oh, there you go. And then... Oh, it looks like um, the Australian border force opened it for inspection just to um, double check what the items are there to make sure it's not any of the contraband items. So anyway, oh, this is the first time that I got this, uh, this letter from the border force. So it's okay. It's nothing of a huge value anyway. So let me just check. Oh, that's the reason why there was a green tape. <laughs> I didn't realize, guys. So anyway, let's take a look at what I have here. Um, so what, as I was saying, let's take a look at the replacement drills. So this is actually replacement drills for some of the um, drills that I ran out because of my boo-boo and then um, the other thing is that my son spilled the the some of the AB drills from the Mama Knows Best painting that I've done a couple of months back imagine that okay so let's take a look so apparently when they ship it out they ship it out in bags like this. So this is 823 and 939. So, because when I was doing the diamond painting, I accidentally put one of the drills inside the container for the 939 or the bolt for the 939 and I mixed the two up. And when I was doing the diamond painting, um, I actually had had to use the mixed up um, drills together to finish the whole painting itself. So I wanted to try because um, Diamond Art Club boasts of uh, uh, accidental insurance on all of their drills. That's the reason why I decided to contact them to see whether they will send me replacement drills or not. So um, initially when I contacted them, they shipped out the replacement drills quite quickly. So let's say I emailed them on February 11. They e they um, emailed back the next day. They said they shipped it out to me. However, a month later, when I was tracking the the drills, the, it didn't even leave New York area. So it was still there, just there, stuck somewhere with DHL. So anyway, that's the reason why I've contacted them again, and they resent me this. So, um, yeah, so apparently this is the second ship, sh second missing drills, a second shipment for the missing drills that they've sent out. And apparently the, they only, they didn't ship me everything. <laughs> so anyway, it's okay, guys. Yeah, so this is the 130, um, uh, what do you call this? AB drills that, um... AB drills from from the Mama Knows Best painting and this is the 136 AB drill as well. Yeah, so I wanted to take a look. Should I open them? 
should I even open them? For people who don't know what AB drills are, it's actually Aurora Borealis. So it's like um, a translucent sheen or iridescent sheen that they put on top of the the drills to make it shine a little bit more. It actually sparkles better than um, regular drills. So, um, there you go, and you can see it. So, uh, Diamond Art Club's paintings, most of them actually has AB drills incorporated inside their, on their, on their paintings itself. So, um, they have sent me the replacement drill because my son accidentally, um, poured, well, accidentally threw some of them, these two. Yeah, so I wasn't sure whether I should even open this or not. Should I? I know you've guys seen me before uh, doing it, but nevertheless, that's not, not, that's not the point of this video. Anyway, it's just one of it. There you go, guys. Okay, so one thing that I'm most excited for is this. This painting that I had already opened. Let's take a look what is the painting that they got. So, um, last, I forgot when, I actually ordered a painting from Tinney Arts. So, this is a painting that I got from Tinney Arts. Oh my god, there's creases. Oh my god, there's creases. Yeah, so, this painting is from Tinney Arts, and I wanted to get this for my for my husband so anyway before we were uh open this uh before i flip over i show you this canvas i wanted to show you their um toolkit which comes with the standard green tray the pink wax a uh, pen that is blue and then some um baggies inside so there's nothing special about that and then they sent me an instruction sheet sorry two of them two of the same thing um, instruction sheets on how to do the diamond painting so it's the same thing printed on both sides yeah so there you go and then these are the drills and right off the bat you can see tons of AB drills as well oh my god so let's take a look at that so this painting is the guitar painting guitar painting for such a small painting it actually has 33 different colors so let me just flip it and roll it on the other side so because this is a canvas that uses port glue I actually could do this to the canvas itself I don't have any issues with doing that to the canvas or since it's quite small i actually could just lift up the cover and then lay it back down again to flatten it so my concern is that huge crease there's a crease all along the painting because they didn't use a box they just use a poly bag when they shipped it to me and it got crushed along the way so it's the same thing on the other side it has a huge crease right over there let me just lift this up and then lay it back down again so um tin me arts is actually a supplier from aliexpress so if you guys don't know i actually ordered um two different paintings from them this one and the and another painting the tiger painting and um initially they shipped me the wrong diamond painting uh, <laughs> diamond painting so what they shipped me was the the tiger i got the tiger but they shipped me a smaller soccer painting i have no idea why they gave me a small soccer painting and when i contacted them they were asking me whether um they would um i prefer to have it refunded to me or do i want to have this painting uh for myself so i told them i still want this painting but i had to confirm first whether this painting actually comes with ab drills because you guys 
Um, I don't know whether you know, but I prefer for round paintings, I prefer to get um, if the suppliers actually has um, AB drills on their painting, I wanted to get paintings with the AB drills already part of their um, as already part of the charting. So with this particular painting, they actually have four different. Um, four different AB drills guys so um, diamond um, diamond art club and tin me arts actually numbers their AB drills from 150 uh, from 149 and below so any code that you see on their legend that is 149 and below is considered an AB drill so later on let's look at the drills but for now I wanted to show you this canvas so it's pretty small it's only 40 by 30 okay so it's pretty pretty small guys so when you look at the at the canvas the 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 print is actually quite clear and they use barely their circles it's actually not even circles oh yeah some of them have circles have outlines yeah but most of them don't have it yeah so I like that um from a supplier of um from a supplier but um let's take a look at the one four five one three two one three seven and one three eight where are we supposed to use it so the p are all over here p and then the case the case is also there the p and the k so there are two different colored um there's P all over here, P's over there. What else? Uh, do I have K's? There's P over here, over here. Yeah. Where are the rest of the K? There's not much K, guys. Yeah, so there's some more K's over here. Yeah. But the... E's and the J's. Also, oh, there's tons of E's over here. Um, e some more over here, over here, over there. Where are the J's, guys? Oh, J's are oranges. Okay, J's, J, J on the strings of the guitar. J all over there. Yeah, so. Basically, the colors are scattered all over the, well, not the colors, but the, the AB drills are scattered all over the, the portrait itself. But let's take a look at the glue. So I like the glue because it's made out of um, poured glue. Hopefully that crease will come out if I flatten it a little bit further before I start it. Yeah, so anyway, before I work on this, I will definitely be flattening, flattening it out anyway. So let's measure using my handy dandy measuring tool. I don't know what you call this. It's supposed to be 40 by 30, but it's only 31 and a half. And 21 and a half, guys, so it's so small. So even the canvas size for a 30 by 40 is only about 28 by 37. <laughs> so it's really tiny, guys. Yeah, so when you order from Tin Me Arts, better make sure that you're prepared to... Uh, you won't be disappointed with the size because even before I ordered this, I already know that the sizing is not that... Um, accurate it's really right uh, it's really small compared to the uh, size that they're um, they were advertising is supposed to be 40 by 30 but it's really off <laughs> anyway um, the reason why I wanted to get this is because my husband really loves to play the guitar and um, every now and then he will whip out his guitar and then just strum along and then sing for us. Yeah, so let's flip it over. So when I saw this, I'm like, hmm, I should get this for my husband. 
So, and now let's take a look at the drills. So, let me turn it, open it, and let's see all the colors. So, I was supposed to have 33 colors let's see if i have 30 okay guys so apparently my phone died while i was recording <laughs> yeah anyway so what i did was that uh, there was a missing um drill somewhere so what i did was that i did an inventory i went through all the colors if you guys cannot see so i went through all the colors right over there and then um i came to here 703 that's the missing 703 Oh, I thought I was missing 704. It's 7. Oh, sorry, 703 is here. Sorry, I marked the wrong one. It's supposed to be this one. Yeah, so I'm missing 704, guys. Yeah, so I'm missing 704. 703 is here. I'm missing 704. And when I l took a look at the um, 704, it's this here and over here so maybe i'll zoom you in so you can see so it's the equal sign so it's the only here and here yeah so maybe that's only about uh what do you call that about maybe 20 different 20 drills 20 pieces of drills so i had taken a look at my stash and i found out that one of my um, one of the projects that uh, I have kept in storage actually has 704 on their drills and it's in round as well. So I was thinking of maybe borrowing from there. So later on, I'll show you how I was able to check which diamond painting actually had the 704 um, drill inside and where I'm going to look for it. So I'm quite happy with the, my diamond um painting logbook guys that's the reason why um, I like using that particular app um, because I would be able to see the how many drills I have um, in the storage whether it's round or in squares and if it's not in storage um, if I don't have it in my extra drill storage and and it's somewhere in my um, it's somewhere in my in the projects that I still have to do. I will still be able to see that. So um, um, I'll be showing you the Diamond Painting Logbook app that I'm using. So you guys will be able to um, download for yourself. And you could keep track of all your paintings and even the drills, that um, extra drills that you have. Yeah, so anyway, I lost track of... <laughs> What I wanted to show you, apart from uh, apart from the missing drill, I wanted to show you the AB drill. So the AB drills are here. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, here. Yeah. So these are the AB drills that we're going to use. This is one, three, two. One, three, two. See. It's a light orange, and then this is 145, which is a darker orange. I'm quite liking the colors, guys. And the, this is a light, uh, darker blue, 137. And this is 138. So it's a lighter blue. Yeah, so um, I wanted to do a comparison with Diamond Art Club's um, Diamond Art Club's color, but apparently it's not here. This is 136 from Diamond Art Club, so it's a darker blue. Uh, you can see this one is darker. Yeah, the hue, and this one is in square as well. I actually had um, leftovers of their other drills in rounds as well. So um, I actually did a comparison of the two of them. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll go grab them. Yeah, I'll go grab the, the leftover um, Diamond Art Club AB drills that I have and let's compare. So 
this is the 137 leftover that I have from from Diamond Art Club and let's compare it with the 137 from and it looks the same guys the 137 from um, Tin Me Arts. So I have a feeling, after comparing this, I have a feeling that um, Tin Me Arts could be the supplier of Diamond Art Club. Yeah, so there are a lot of similarities with their, um, well, the, the only similarity that I found is the quality of the drills. Well, the 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 shade of their um their ab drill so so far the only supplier that i found the only supplier that i found in aliexpress that sells um diamond paintings that already came with ab drills is from tin me arts they're the only supplier that i found that actually sell them and I'm looking at the shading and even the numbering that they have with their um, the AB drills, the codes that they use, the coincidences with two different companies having the same codes is way too much. So I have a feeling that um, Tinny Arts could be a supplier of Diamond Art Club. Yeah. So um, the difference between the what do you call that? Well, the quality of their canvas, of course, is not the the same with the with Diamond Art Club, but it's actually also velvety, although it's not as soft. And it this one is actually firmer than the one that um, Diamond Art Club sells. However, when you're um, when you're doing a diamond painting, you don't actually touch the back of the canvas anyway so you wouldn't know the difference and um this one their canvas is also is crimped i don't know what you call that a beveled edge on the side on the sides to make sure that um it doesn't um unravel on you while you're doing it and that the when you look at the the canvas itself it's actually quite glittery as well there's also glitters on it it's it's glittery yeah so i have a feeling after comparing the two different um the the you know the ab drills from two different companies that um it could be a supplier of um of diamond art club however i just wanted to give a disclaimer guys that not all of tin me arts um canvases actually comes with ab drills yeah so not all of them so that's the reason why i when i buy well this was my first order with uh tin me arts but before i bought the other um the other design from them as well i actually read the reviews to see whether um whether it comes with any any um ab drills and when they sent me the wrong canvas um they contacted me asking me right to choose whether i wanted a refund or whether they will send me out the painting again so um during that conversation i i asked the 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 supplier whether this particular painting actually came with ab drills and they confirmed it for me so that's the reason why i asked them to resend it to me instead of the refund okay so i decided to take it again uh, to do this again so i wanted to show you guys how okay i wanted to show you guys how i want i keep track of all my diamond paintings together with all the drills that comes with the painting and my extra drills as well so i use this um app called diamond painting logbook so when so when you open it the first thing that you will see so when you open it the first thing that you will see are a list of all the diamond paintings that i already had and then on top of that there are four different tabs that says projects colors wish this about so to know all all about the um to to look for the missing or the dmc code that you need you go to the colors tab so you click on that and you scroll up and down until you look for the 
um, for the drills that you need. So when you look, when you scroll up and down, you will see that there are certain colors that are highlighted in green. There are some that has, um, there are some that has a lighter color, a lighter color green, and then some that have darker drills. So what does that mean? So when you click on the darker ones, you will see that the lighter greens are the ones with the partial bag left. So um, it says here that, um, and then you have, the, uh, and the darker ones actually have the full bags left. What does that mean? The full bags means that I still have, you know, when you receive your diamond painting, you have um, uh, drills that comes in packs of 200 pieces in each one. So the full bag is a bag a full bag means I have 200 pieces left. So with this Venice oil painting, I, I actually have 10 full bags left and four partial bags left. So, and the good thing about this particular logbook is that it will tell you if it's in, in square or in round. So in this particular case for Venice oil painting, it's actually a square drill. And then um, the fire fairy actually has a round drill. I have already finished it, but I haven't. Um, oh, sorry, I haven't finished it yet. I don't know why it's actually highlighted. Hmm, that's weird. There's something wrong with this particular app. Yeah, so when you look at um, color 318, it, uh, it says that I have one whole bag left and four partial bags left. So when you open it, um, the ones in lighter greens are actually... Um, partial bags that is left for those projects and then this sleeping Minnie and Mickey I actually had one full and then one partial bag left and it's in round drills and then the ones that are not highlighted at all that means the ones that are not highlighted at all it means that they actually are projects that I haven't done yet see and then the one at the bottom the wolf divine instinct um I have one partial bag left as well and it's in round drill. So this is the nice thing about this particular app is because you can keep track not just of the drills that you already have uh, finished, uh, but you actually can also keep track of the drills that you still haven't um for projects that you still haven't done yet. So this is what I like about this app. So when I was looking, when I had one missing for 704, I just went to this app and looked for it. Yeah, so that's, um, just scroll down and look for it. Unfortunately, I think there's something wrong with this app at the moment because when you open at 704, there's nothing there. I have no idea why, but there's supposed to be one partial bag left. And then when I went into my storage, the drills for my, um, extra, uh, extra drill storage, when I looked at it, there's seven, one partial bag of 704 there. There's one partial bag of 704, but it only had um, squares in it. So unfortunately, I don't know why I cannot see where the project, that partial bag came from, but 703 works pretty well. 712 works pretty well. I have no idea why 704 is not working properly. So however, there must be some bugs. I don't know whether I need to update this. Uh, later on but I'm quite happy with this particular um, particular app that I'm using for my um, to keep track of all my paintings and the drills so if you need more information about this particular app you can actually um, go to the link of where I did the tutorial for this particular um, app so I'll be linking it down below for you guys as well if you need to know more how to use this there you go, guys. So I hope you had fun um, watching me um, unbox this particular painting. So I hope you guys um, learned something from me doing all this for you. And see you on my next video. Bye.